Hi and welcome to another video of Type with Me. In this video I'm going to show you an npm package with TypeScript code. First of all, it's very important to have this kind of structure when you create an npm package for and with TypeScript, right? So you have a source folder and you have a dist folder. Your dist folder is your distribution folder that you're gonna expose to the outside world, right? When we go and take a look into the source folder, we have here an echoit.ts file and we have an index.ts file. An index.ts file is very important to have that. Why? Here we're gonna declarate what we're gonna expose to the outside world. So in our case, we're gonna expose echoit to the outside world and echoit is a class, a TypeScript class that we're gonna export to the outside world, right? But when you, for example, have another class here de declared and you don't want to export or expose that, for example, we have here export const hello and you don't expose it here, well, <coughs> it's not, uh, it will not be used or it will not be possible to access that um, from the outside world, right? So let's take a look now to the TypeScript config.json file. Here we have uh, an option out there where we declare our uh, distribution folder, all right? Or output uh, folder. Another thing that's very important is the declaration uh, property here. And we put it to true because we want to generate uh, d.ts files. And this is very important so other uh, TypeScript developers can use your library within their TypeScript project. When you don't do this and you just generate uh, your code to your dist folder and you have an index.js file, other node.js developers can use that. But of course, uh, TypeScript developers need to have type or typing declarations, right? So I also added here a webpack. So we have here TypeScript loader, webpack and webpack dash CLI. We have here a webpack config file where when we're going to look at the configuration, we have an entry point source index.ts, right? And then we have here our rule with our TypeScript loader in it. When we have a file that ends to .ts and .tsx, he needs to use the TypeScript loader file, right? So another thing that we can look at is our package.json file. And here we have our main uh, keyword where we point to our dist slash index.js file. That's also very important to do it uh, and to point to that file, right? That's our entry uh, file of our npm package. And we have here uh, npm script uh, web pack. And when we do npm run compile, we'll execute web pack. So we don't need to install web pack globally, right? So now he generated some files. So you'll see here that we have an index.js file, right? And we have two uh, declaration files, two TypeScript declaration files. One is the index.d.ts and another one is the echoit.d.ts, which represents our echoit class, right? Yeah, just one thing that I want to mention to you is that 
I put the source folder into the .npm ignore, right? So when you publish your package to npm, uh, the source folder will not be published with that because the end user doesn't have anything with the source folder, right? So now you can do an npm publish and publish your package to npm. Happy publishing.